Okay, so we are measuring with our Cornet electrosmog meter. This is probably the best place in the house to be, this room. There's nothing, nothing in here with any frequency, and we're blocked by that wall and everything. And I was getting a signal of like .01 in here, which isn't dangerous or anything, but it was just perturbing because I spend most of my time here, so I was in like 20 times the radiation. Just like sitting here, you know, it gets even worse down here. And <laughs> I'm sitting right in front of the TV, so I'm thinking, oh, maybe it's the TV, maybe there's just a lot of electricity here. And so I pulled this, um, that thing right there, down. So I was, and I was like, wow, it even gets some signal. Oh, wait, no, it goes down. So I was like, okay, it's unplugged, maybe. It was while it was up there, but then I tested again to see if I was still getting the signal up here, and I was like, oh, this was closer to the left, and I thought it was the copper wire drawing in signal toward it, but I didn't think to go here because that's off. Do you see that's off? No light. When it's on, who knows what it's putting out. That's an Xbox 360 with Connect, and this thing is putting off a signal. EMFs. So, it's probably on. It's lying. <laughs> this thing is on. Look at that. That's a terrible signal. It's up in the yellow range. That's worse than the microwave, when I have the microwave on. Five to seven milliwatts per meter squared. Not that dangerous, but it's, it's on. That thing is on. So, <laughs> I've got a I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna throw it away or something. I don't know. Let's see what happens when we turn it on. And I'm so sensitive I can feel my heart beating faster right now. So I'm gonna sell this. And yeah, it's not much different. It's the same as it, if it's on and if it's off. I mean the wireless is enabled right now so on there but we don't really use wireless in the house generally on our computers and everything but I did leave the wireless on so I could download a game I wonder if I turn off the wireless if I would have the same problem I don't know but there you go folks I'm gonna come back when I turn off the wireless on there disable it see if it makes a difference Microsoft they're watching you okay as you see the Xbox is on I use wired controllers to avoid radiation and I'm going to turn on my cornet and I just disconnected on there and we're still getting a lot higher signal and as we get closer I am disconnected from the wireless so because it's detecting constantly searching for the wireless it's still there now watch what happens when I turn it off should stop, right? It should stop broadcasting, but no. We still got it. And as we speak, my heart is racing cuz kind of sensitive to these signals. So, only choice I have is to unplug it. And so I'm going to try that now. Okay. As you see, it's unplugged, and we are safe. All is well. This horrible machine has stopped broadcasting, at least for the most part. I think there might... Yeah, I'm still getting a little bit of something. That could be just from the battery, or I'm not sure. But it's very insignificant if it is anything. But, in any case, I'm getting rid of it. Adios, Xbox. I'll probably get one of those old white Xbox 360s, and then I'll never uh, upgrade again to anything that has wireless capability. As you see, the, the, the PS3 it doesn't put anything out. At least I don't think it does. Yeah, the wireless is disabled. So it does what I tell it to.
like a computer should. And um, yeah, I've got a wired connection as you see. I don't have any wireless um, capability on that router. So, problem solved. Hopefully this will improve my health. I'm sure it will. This always does. And let's see how it is in my little place where I live. Yep, point zero zero one. That's where we like it to be. If we're near the ground, it's always a lot better.